Hello and welcome to the Woodland Department Sensory Play and Mark Making Session. My name is Lucy. It's nice to have you here. We're going to start with a hand warm up to get our hands ready to play with some Play Doh and do some mark making. So if you've got some hand cream, that's really useful. If not, you can always pause the video and go and find some hand cream. So if you put just a little bit of hand cream, and we'll do one hand at a time. So put the hand cream on your child's hand and we're gonna to listen to our Tommy Thumb song. And we're gonna do each finger in turn. So we're gonna start with the thumb. Tommy Thumb, Tommy Thumb, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Next finger. Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And the next finger. Small finger. Baby small, baby small, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And we're gonna do the palm. Fingers on, fingers on, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? And we're gonna put cream on the other hand now. Peter Pointer. Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Toby Tall. Tommy Tall, Tommy Tall, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And Ruby Ring next. Baby small. Baby small, baby small, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? And then the palm to finish. Fingers on, fingers on, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? Right, your hands should be all warmed up now. Now next you're going to need some Play-Doh. Some Play-Doh. So if you haven't got some, you can pause the video and find some. And you only need a small amount, just enough to fit into your child's hand. And we're going to do um, some thing, different things with the Play-Doh, each hand in turn. So we're going to start with squeezing the Play-Doh and this will help our hand muscles get nice and strong. This is the way we squeeze the Play-Doh, squeeze the Play-Doh, squeeze the Play-Doh. This is the way we squeeze the Play-Doh with our hands. And we're going to move it to the other hand. So you help your child, if they need help, you can, you can help them squeeze or just see what they can do by themselves. This is the way we squeeze the Play-Doh, squeeze the Play-Doh, squeeze the Play-Doh. This is the way we squeeze the Play-Doh with our hands. And next 
we're going to try rolling the play-doh going to try rolling the play-doh so we'll start with this hand again this is the way we roll the play-doh roll the play-doh roll the play-doh this is the way we roll the play-doh with our hands and you should have a nice sausage shape and we're going to try with the other hand. This is the way we roll the Play-Doh, roll the Play-Doh, roll the Play-Doh. This is the way we roll the Play-Doh with our hands. Well done everybody, you should have a sausage shape. And next we're going to use our pointy fingers to poke holes in the Play-Doh. You can use a bit more for this if you want a bit more Play-Doh to poke. This is the way we poke the Play-Doh, poke the Play-Doh, poke the Play-Doh. This is the way we poke the Play-Doh with our hands. And we'll swap hands, have a go with the other one if you can manage it. This is the way we poke the Play-Doh, poke the Play-Doh, poke the Play-Doh. This is the way we poke the Play-Doh with our hands. And next we're going to try pinching the Play-Doh. If you can get your fingers together and try and pinch the play-doh this one's quite tricky so just see how you get on this is the way we pinch the play-doh pinch the play-doh pinch the play-doh this is the way we pinch the play-doh with our hands and we'll try with the other hand this is the way we pinch the play-doh pinch the play-doh pinch the play-doh this is the way we pinch the Play-Doh with our hands. Right, we've got the last thing with our Play-Doh. We're going to try and use both hands together and we're going to try and pull it apart and rip the Play-Doh. So, you ready to try that? This is the way we rip the Play-Doh. Rip the Play-Doh, rip the Play-Doh. This is the way we rip the Play-Doh with our hands. Well done everybody. The Play-Doh has finished so we can put the Play-Doh away. What's next? Next we're going to get your tray and on your tray you can have sand or oats and, or I've got rice because that's what I had in my house. And the, the point of this one is to try and make some shapes in whatever you've got on your tray. And you can encourage the children just to use a pointy finger to try and make some shapes and patterns and lines. Or they can use their whole hand or their arm if that's how they like to work. So I'll put a bit of music on. And we can have a, a few minutes of that.
make sure you have a look with your child at what they have done in the tray and point out what you can see that they've been doing and tell them how good it is that they've been using their fingers if they've been taking part. So that's brilliant. Right, the next thing, um, you can choose what you do now uh, depending on your child. So for the children um, who haven't got much, much movement in their fingers, um, you might want to put the tray on the floor and they can explore it with their feet. And it's a lovely sensory experience for them. So you can use the tray with their feet or you may wish to hide objects in your tray that they're able to pick up and you can hide them in the sand or the oaks or whatever and encourage them to pick up the object, to, to find it on the tray and pick up the object. And you can spend as much time as they need on that activity. Or it might be that your child's able to hold a pen and um, you could have a go at doing some mark making with a pen or a crayon or a chunky uh, piece of chalk on some paper. And you can see if they want to have a go at mark making on the paper and they could draw lines or they could draw circles, or you could even model how to draw dots. And if your child doesn't seem too keen on holding the paper, they can just watch how you do it, and it's called modelling, and it's a great way to show them what we're talking about, and you can describe that I'm doing lines, I'm doing circles. Or you could do it alongside each other. Um, so you can put some music on, relaxing music on while you do that and um, have a nice time exploring. Um, so that's all from me and I hope you have fun doing the next part. Um, so thank you for coming. Bye!